Let the critique begin. It's been about a couple weeks since Spoob has been a home premiere, but from my experience, it's not that special. The jokes were lame, there were a few cliches, though the opening was alright, it put you in the right mood, but other than that, it doesn't feel like Scooby-Doo. That last statement was also a reason I don't like the first live-action Scooby-Doo film by Roger Gosnell. But would you believe there is actually a sequel? It has the same lead actors as before, and was also directed by Gosnell. The sequel did so poorly that a third film that James Gunn was set to write and direct was cancelled. Unfortunately, that didn't stop live-action adaptations of the series from being made. What's wrong with Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, and how's it compared to the first film? Here's my experience. A criminology museum in Coolsville has opened to commemorate the previous cases that Mystery Inc. has solved. That night of its opening, Mystery Inc. themselves attend, but this evil masked figure, seriously, that's what he's called, bursts in with a reanimated pterodactyl ghost and steals two of the costumes. Now the gang needs to figure out who the evil masked figure is. In the meantime, the press is turning the city against Mystery Inc. by taking footage of Freddie Prinze Jr. being interviewed and taking some of the seemingly negative things he says out of context. Personally, this film is a little better than the first, but it still sucks at being a movie. The jokes are just as stupid as before, at least it's not like the first movie which has a whole scene dedicated to burps and farts. No, this time, it's the type of humor that involves a kick to the nuts, yeah, right, nuts. And yeah, there's still some fart jokes. It's also predictable who the villain is, but I'm not going to tell you about it because you don't want to watch this. Understandably, people hate this film more than the first film because of that predictable ending, as well as the performances of the new stars, not to mention the CG effects still look like crap, even for 2004 standards. For goodness sake, this film came out the year after Pirates of the Caribbean, and the skeleton pirates still look cool today. Are we missing something here? Thankfully, there's no scrappy doo in the movie, and there's more emphasis on clue hunting. Come to think of it, there isn't a single mention of the events of the first film. That's good, because who wants to be reminded of the abomination of before? Unfortunately, it still reminds us of what the first film did wrong. They still miss the fact that the show does not have any real supernatural elements other than a talking dog. All the crime scene ever was is a show put on by a dude in a costume. It's not that hard to understand if you're familiar with the show, Jinkies! These two live-action films could have gone better, but due to poor CGI, bad acting, and senseless jokes, the Roger Gosnell Scooby films have stooped as low as destroying people's childhoods and confusing newcomers to the series. What we loved about the show was how it enhanced our abilities in problem-solving and critical thinking. It allowed us to think like detectives. These two films, on the other hand, not only get as far away from it as possible, but they don't even try to hide the fact that they're doing something wrong. Bottom line, I think the second film is a little better, but that doesn't mean it's good. It's still horrible. At least Scoob did better and somewhat tried to connect with its audience. It's a sign of the times and how we barely ever seem to improve upon what we did wrong before.